Welcome to part three in our series on engineering presentations. In this video, we discuss best practices for slide design and show you examples of clear, simple slides. Why does slide design matter for an engineering presentation? Visuals provide important information and context for your audience. However, you should not view slides as a substitute for you as the presenter. The purpose of slides is to complement what you say. You are the focus of the presentation, after all. Effective slides show the audience you took the time to consider how to best communicate with them, and they will appreciate your effort. Let's start with an example of a slide that has a lot of room for improvement. What's wrong with this slide? You probably notice a few things. First, the slide is incredibly cluttered. There's no clear message, but a lot of extra unnecessary items. There's way too much text. The image is not clearly connected and its quality is poor, being stretched and having an unnecessary shadow. The color scheme is all over the place and the title text is hard to read because it lacks contrast between text and backgrounds. Overall, this slide distracts listeners with excessive clutter and has no clear message. Do you think the audience can focus on listening to you, the presenter, while simultaneously intaking this information? You should strive instead to design slides that complement the message you are saying. So what are some strategies you can use to achieve this? Here we present a few best practices to follow. First, when designing slides, keep one basic principle in mind. Present just one main idea per slide. If you use the title bar, make the main idea the slide title and be as precise as possible. The text and image you use should complement each other. To ensure you have one idea per slide, we recommend using a single, large, high quality image rather than several small images. Minimize your text so your slides are not your script. Next, be consistent with the visual design choices. Use a single font type throughout, preferably a sans serif font that is legible on large screens. Stick to a consistent color scheme. Choose one or two main colors that you use throughout the presentation and ensure you have contrast between your color and slide background. Use variations of a single color for a professional look rather than multiple different colors. In the workplace, if your organization has brand guidelines, you will likely have to follow their color and font preferences. Finally, show your data clearly. In technical presentations, we frequently have many graphs or other figures to display. Present just one per slide, making the figure large enough to be visible by all in the audience. Use a clear title that gives the audience the main idea up front. So what does it look like when we put these principles together on a slide? Here you can see we have one main idea, presenting the problem of bridge structural deficiency shown with a single large image and a minimal amount of text. The visual design is consistent using one color and a single font with contrast in color and size. The data, a statistic, is presented clearly for the audience. Here's another example of effective slide design. You can see the precise title. The data are presented clearly in the graph with labels and contrasting colors. The slide isn't cluttered with extra information. In conclusion, slides serve as an important visual supporting role for your presentation. Make deliberate choices about color, clarity, and content to ensure slides support your message, but do not act as your script. In the next video in our series on presentations, we'll describe how to practice effectively for your big moment. Stay tuned!